Today on Review This Thing, we're going to test out six different TSS loads with this Winchester SXP and the Jeb's Headhunter 560 choke. This is Robbie with Review This Thing, and today we're back out here pattern testing this Winchester SXP long beard in the 20 gauge. We've got it topped with the Williams Gun Sight LRS Glow Reflex Sight, and for the choke, we have the Jeb's Headhunter 560. All the TSS loads we're going to use are nine shot and we're gonna be shooting them at 40 yards. First up, we're gonna go with the Fiocchi Golden Turkey. Oh yeah, looks good from here. You guys have seen that one perform before and it looks no different today. Let's go see what it looks like down there. So we're not sighted in for this load specifically. It looks like it shot just a little bit left, but I think we're gonna have a good pellet count. Just because it did shoot a little bit left doesn't affect our pellet count. And we had 118 in a six inch circle and 234 in a 10 inch circle. Next up, we're gonna use Viper ammunition. So it looks like maybe with this choke, it was shooting a little bit left because I aimed a little bit right. And that's a lot of pellets on that target. Aiming just a little bit to the right looks to have done the trick. If we end up hunting with that choke, I'm gonna adjust the sight, definitely. That load proved to be really good. 195 pellets in a six inch circle and 344 in a 10 inch circle. And now the Voxtrot Crushers. These have done well in our other videos. If I was a betting man, I'd probably say they're gonna do good again. Yep, I'd say they did. That looks like a really condensed load right there. Very few flyers. It might have shot just a little bit lower than the other ones, but it's very condensed. This was really close to our last load. Had 201 pellets in the six inch circle and 341 in our 10. It's really cool to see the consistency across different videos. And let's keep this party rolling with Verdict. Let's see how it does out of this Jeb's choke. Looking good from here. There's a lot of white right there on that turkey's neck. Oh yeah, that's a lot of splatter in and around that turkey's head and neck. Our third one in a row, over 300 for that 10 inch circle. We had 326 in 10 and 178 in six. And we've got two loads left for this Jeb's choke. Next to last on our list is gonna be rogue ammunition. I'm always impressed with all these TSS loads. That looks like a good one too. No doubt that one didn't disappoint either. Just shot a little bit lower. I may be pulling down a little bit on it too. Those last two have shot lower, so who knows? Let's go count them. Looks like we kept that over 300 rolling. 144 in the six inch circle and 326 in the 10 inch. And the last one for today before I try to talk Adrian into buying me lunch is Apex. I'm gonna try not to pull down on these. Keep it nice and steady. That felt like a really good trigger squeeze. Let's go see what the target looks like. So it felt like I stayed right on that one and it still shot a little bit low. So we'd wanna do a little bit of sighting in if we were gonna hunt with that load. Let's go count them. That jam choke really has done good. Our last load, 178 in a six inch circle and 324 in the 10. That gem's choke in the 560 constriction put five of those six TSS loads in a 10 inch circle over 300 pellets. That one may be a combination we hunt with. If you like this video, hit the thumbs up button. If you really like what we do, hit the subscribe button. We appreciate your support. Thanks for watching. Hey, thanks for watching our pattern testing with the Gems Head Hunter 560 choke. While you're here, make sure you like it, comment below, hit the subscribe button. Make sure you check us out on Instagram, Facebook, TikTok, Pinterest, our other store, Amazon store, and a review of this thing, TV.com. Subscribe to our weekly newsletter.